Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back, Force here, and today we will be checking out Beat Buddy Tale of the Guardians. This is a 2D action adventure game with a heavy emphasis on music and rhythm. In this game you play as Beat Buddy, who's this little blue dude who loves dancing to music, and uh, you're trying to reunite your sisters, Melody and Harmony, in an attempt to stop the evil maestro from taking over the land. Uh, so a nice cute little story, trying to save your sister, stop the bad guy, yeah, yeah. Uh, where this game really shines though, it does have some nice comedy to it, uh, and we will get to see some of that dialogue in this video. But I think where this game really shines is mixing sort of a rhythm style game with an action adventure game. I mean, there are enemies, there are bosses, there are puzzles, all of that sort of thing. And yeah, I think this game also has a gorgeous uh, art style. I love sort of the hand drawn art that we're seeing here. All right, you just saw me pick up a relic. That's worth a ton of beat points. Beat points, you collect those little pink crystals, and that is essentially your scoring within this game. Uh, so we're taking a look at one of the earlier levels. This is actually just after the tutorial. Uh, I just wanted to give you guys sort of a general introduction to the game, show you how it plays, what it's like, and then also give you my initial thoughts and impressions, which, which I guess I you know, I just sort of came right out and said it. Uh, I think that this is a, a really interesting, uh, cool little title here. All right, so uh, puzzle solving trying to make your way throughout the environment. So we've got this little wall here, we can't punch our way through, and what we need to do is actually use this, it's just sort of a propulsion system, and then bounce off that, and there you go. Then we've got enough velocity to be able to break down that barrier. As you can tell, this is in an underwater setting, a nice little, uh, Nice little environment, I like the floatiness as your character moves throughout it. Uh, these little rocks or whatever they're called that you're seeing me break through, uh, that's how you pick up health in this game. So yeah, there will be enemies that you will engage with, and then there's also just environmental hazards. You'll lose life, and you'll have to make sure you uh, don't lose all of your life, or, or else you'll be pushed back to the latest checkpoint, which I think we'll be seeing a checkpoint. Right, there we go. So this little thing right here, this is the checkpoint system. So if I die beyond this point, I would be brought right back to here. Okay, so we've got these dudes, uh, really spiky, kind of dangerous, we can't pass them. And how we do pass them is we stop their, uh, stop their little friend here who's making them dance to the beat. So we just gotta punch him. It's kind of mean, actually. <laughs> In a place that's all about music, we're trying to stop the music. But yeah, we punch these guys, that'll stop these snails from going all crazy and allow us to pass through. And these ones we can only pass through when they're blue. So once they turn blue, we go like that. And we also have a propulsion uh, system that we can just go like that for. Uh, no interaction with these dudes as far as I can tell. They just add to the sweet, sweet music. Okay, let's get some of these. We want to collect as many of these beat points as possible. And the best thing I found to do is as soon as this thing is yellow, you just sort of kind of shoot right through it and there you go. You'll make, make your way through. But yeah, if you try to pound bounce through it when it's yellow it won't work all right so these little deflectors we can rotate with the right bumper as you can see here so we're going to move this over in that direction and then bounce our way through Woo! avoid yellow spikes this is some of those environmental hazards that i was mentioning and there is sort of a again there's a way to sort of push yourself forward and you can hold it down to go really fast but sort of dangerous in these areas so i personally avoid it uh, i'm sure people will play this game as, as is the case with a lot of games like this, you can try to play it for speed and get through the level as fast as possible. And the game does keep track of your time when you're making your way throughout the level, so that is a legitimate strategy. Um, but you know, I'm just here to enjoy it, so I'm not too concerned about making it through super fast. All right, gonna bounce our way down and pick up this device. We need to bring this to this right here, and that will attract those blue globes and allow us to pass through this gate, just like that. It also adds some sweet melody. And uh-oh, what's this? We got some tunes going now, huh? I love it, I love it. Rhythm game mixed with action adventure. Such a cool concept. Okay, so I'd like to get down here. You can see there are two paths. This one is blocked by those spiky snails. And so the way we're gonna do that is we're gonna punch these guys and then quickly propel here. Oh no, I did that wrong. Let's wait for him to come back. Once he comes back, I try to sure we get this right here. So propel up to this guy, punch him, propel down to that guy, punch him, and then there we go. We can make our way down to collect our points. Go through there. And we got another one too, we got a relic. That's good. Remember that gives us extra points. And then we're gonna bounce here. Go here. And then try to make it through before they come back. Yeah, okay, that was plenty of time. We were fine. Alright. So yeah, collecting points, listening to sweet music, and solving puzzles, I mean, that's this game. 
Now this game has won several awards. I, I, I plan to mention this at the very start, but I forgot. Yeah, it's won a bunch of awards, not only for the music in this game, but just for being a solid indie title. Uh, it won Best Sound and Best Art at the Intel Level Up Award in 2012. Uh, let's see what else it got here. Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. It, got, it was a finalist at the best at the best student project in the German Video Gamer Award for 2011. It also got a top 10 at the Amaze Indie Collection Award, and at the Independent Game Festival 2012, it got an excellence in audio, an honorable mention for that. Um, which you know, just an honorable mention, but I, I don't know. Still pretty solid, I'd say. All right, so we're gonna grab this dude here, and I'm gonna drop him real quick. We punch that, go up here, and then bounce to safety. There we go. And we can just pass right through these. Just like that. And we should have the blue globes making it over, allowing us to pass through. And now we're introduced to some machinery. And a little bit of the uh, comical stylings here on the right. Someone's in the potty not doing so well. Urgh, I probably shouldn't have eaten that. It certainly put up a fight. I think it's still fighting. <laughs> The way it, <laughs> the way it held onto your mustache like that. Oh, it's got my kidney. That's funny. All right. Hey, can I drive the bubble buggy? No, you can't, because I'm about to take it. So the bubble buggy. Check out this. All right. The bubble buggy automatically jumps to the beat when you move, when you move it. Uh, with the left analog stick. So it's continuously moving to the beat, the one, two, one, two. And um, and what'll happen is you can actually push on the second. If you get it on the second, you can push. So I'm gonna try to go down to here. I don't know if I can make it down to here. Yeah, I think I can. I think I can, yeah. So on the, on the second, if you push to propel, you're able to uh, you're able to get a little propulsion. You can't do it at any time though. I can't propel at any time. It's only on the second beat, and you'll also notice on the second beat that the uh, the, the machine lights up. So, and that's exactly what it's saying here. For a big jump, move in the direction and press uh, the green button on the second beat. So just like that. And now some more enemies to try to avoid. Well, actually, they're coming up. <laughs> you still have to try to avoid spikes, even in this machine. They will hurt you. So let's stay away from those. I mean, I dig the tunes. I dig the tunes. I dig the art style. And uh, while the puzzles haven't been terribly hard, this is also only the start of the game. So maybe they get more difficult. But I think you probably play this game... Because this isn't a, you know, this isn't a puzzle platformer. It's not dedicated around the puzzles, although puzzles do exist. But I think you probably play a game like this just to sort of experience the environment and the music. I mean, that's that's how I envision, you know, this sort of a title sort of being focused. Ooh, squeak my way through there. And I won't be able to make it up there like that, but I can go this way. No problem. And giant spikes! Why am I being pushed down? Uh, some sort of a current there. Okay. It hurts me more than it does you. Ouch. Oh, so you're a stubborn one. <laughs> so there's a little blockade over there. Gonna have to try to figure out what to do. Oi, you little chap! Are you beat? Yeah, that's me. The name's Clef. Your sister Harmony asked me to fetch you. She's a feisty one. But it seems like we're both stuck here. Okay, so we're gonna try to find our way through. How do we find our way through? Well, I can't just go like this and try to bounce through that wall because that's not gonna work. These are the walls that we actually need to figure out, and do some puzzle solving. So what I'm gonna do first is we're gonna bust our way through that wall on the far left. Let's go like this. All right, now let's venture over here. That machine's only for certain parts of the game, not for all parts. The theme, the music, lights, camera. I know, I like it, it's, it's quirky, and uh, it's a fun little game, not terribly challenging, 
Again, that's the case so far though. Um, so here's an actually an example of one of the first puzzles that actually had me scratching my head. So the first thing I did was when I came over here, I'm like, okay, let me break through on the right. I see some things over there, but you can't bounce through like that. You got to bounce off the top of the pad in order to be deflected. So I'm like, okay, so obviously now I need to grab this and we just go up there, right? So we just go like this out through. There we go. No problem. And then I'm thinking, okay, so now I need to get over here. So we got to go this way like this. But then uh, it's like, wait a second, how is that gonna work? Yeah, so that works just fine, but then I go this way and what happens? I bounce off that and that just ricochets me back. So I need to actually deflect this back down over here. I mean, it wasn't ter I, I wasn't like, oh, what do I do? But um, it's the first time this sort of mixed things up a little bit in the early stage of this game. And you'll notice it'll glow once you actually have a ricochet set up. So if I, you know, I need to be at the proper angle it needs to be glowing for it to actually connect and work. And this one will not work at its current trajectory. Let me try to... Okay, that one will work. So let's bounce this through. There we go. So we make it through. On to the next area. Come on, I got you. And at first, these little bubble passes are nothing to worry about but the red ones you have to worry about so these ones you have to really make sure you time right which again will be interesting when people are trying to do speed runs where you actually have to worry about that sort of a challenge and it's not just sort of oh just wait till you get it right just keep banging your head against it until you actually pass through no it's not going to be like that consistently okay so i'm going to pick this one up and actually move it now on over to here so we can pass through this gate with Mr. Beat Buddy. And I don't think there's nothing over there and we can't even pass through there, so we have to come down this way. And now that we break through this, we can finally ricochet up here. Okay, so now we can do this. Which will allow us to finally solve the puzzle. Careful for the red. Okay, I wanted to pass through to give myself some room, but I ended up hitting one in the process, unfortunately. But that's fine, because we gave ourselves plenty of room to get make it through this way. And we got our health anyways, so. No problemo. I mean, again, I could just see that being, the, and the rhythm will be so much better when you're busting through everything and doing everything to the beat. To the beat! Whoops. Let's take a look here. What do we have to do? So we got that thing up there. I need to pass through down there, which is gonna require me to kill, hit this guy and then go up there like this. Nope! Ooh, if those hit you once, you're done for. So that's why I was freaking out a little bit there. Okay, so now let's go like this. I'm going to drop this down. Now we're going to punch this guy, pick it up, and we pass through without much of a problem. And now we can go like this. No! <laughs> Uh, oh well. No, watch out! There we go. Alright, wonderful checkpoint met. That is up there, so let's go ahead and go down this way. Just want to show you a little bit further. Love it. And there must be something down there, right? Because it's trying to make me... Yeah, of course. <laughs> Tries to make me skip it. Incentivizes me to skip it. That must mean something's going on. Oh, oh, exclamation point. Radiation, hazard, exclamation point. Fireball or whatever that, death, radiation. What is going on? Lots of badness occurring. They're trying to tell me to be careful. There's clearly something that I should be avoiding up here. Sweet music is not one of those things though. I should not avoid that. I should focus on it. All right, use the bubble buggy to smash through the gate. That showed the bugger. Yeah, we're all dancing. 
we're all excited. Yeah, we didn't need that bit anyways. Hey, could you put in a good word for me with your sister? She says she's an ethereal being. Uh, I think she's just playing hard to get. No, she actually is. Come on, get in. Alright, so we're back in the beat buggy. Making our way through. And now we got these scary jellyfish looking things. Let's do those. Alright, so we have to be careful. These are the snare jumpers. And as much as I'd like to collect every single little thing, I'd rather just not die to snare jumpers. So we will just avoid them. Well, except for the ones that we hit. And there you go. <laughs> I mean, I, you know, I don't have a ton to say about this game, but I think that's good because it's just, it's fun to play. It's, it's neat. It is a neat little title. Um, I have quite enjoyed my playtime with it. I definitely suggest if you even look slightly, if you seem like you are slightly interested in what you've seen here today and you'd like to see, hear more of the Beat Buddy music and see more of the world, you can pick it up on Steam. It's available right now. Uh, it is fully priced at $14.99, however, there's currently a special promotion going on until the end of, uh, uh, till the August 13th, that is when the offer ends, 10% uh, off, bringing that down to $13.49, so you save a little bit of money on the title, if you like it. And you know, there are also boss fights in the game, but uh, we don't get to see that here at the moment, but yeah, solving puzzles, making your way through the environment and listening to some sweet tunes. If that sounds like something that you might be interested in, then Beat Buddy might just be the game for you. Let me try to get this lined up here. There we go, that's perfect. And then this guy's gotta go over here. I think that'll work just fine. All right guys, well once again, this has been Force Check. Oh man, are you serious that didn't match up? There we go. <laughs> once again, this has been Force Checking out Beat Buddy. A 2D action adventure game with a heavy emphasis on music and rhythm. And this is actually the big bad guy coming up here. We don't get to fight him at this point, but we do get to see him. He is the maestro. And he is evil. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching. If you like the content, please subscribe. And as always, keep watching and keep owning. Oh, this evil maestro trying to take over all of the land. I'll show you. Shut off your music. Shut off your lights. To be precise. No lights for you, sir. Ha 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 ha.